Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, min terms and max terms and canonical forms. These are simple definitions. Uh, this is very, very easy class to understand. In our last class, we clearly discussed about conjunctive and disjunctive normal forms. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, let's try to understand what are min terms means, uh, how we write the min terms. Let's take two variables. If our proposition consists of two variables, P and Q. So, what are the min, what are the all different uh, possibilities, truth value possibilities that we are going to write? Uh, these are all the four possibilities. Means true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. So, from this, we can write the min terms. How we are going to write the min terms? See here, if you are having true, write it as P because this is in the line of P. If you are having true, write it as Q. In the min terms, we are going to write use conjunction, P conjunction Q. This is one min term. So, next one, if you are having true, write it as P conjunction. If you are having false, write it as negation Q. So, negation Q. This is another min term. Similarly, false true. False means negation P conjunction. True means Q. False false. False means negation P conjunction. False means negation Q. So, these are the min terms that are available for two variables. How many min terms available? Four min terms available. Similarly, if you want to write the min terms for three variables, let's take P, Q, R. What are all the possible truth values that we are going to write? So, how we write all these uh, possibilities? Eight possibilities will be there. Because three variables are there, two cube. Eight possibilities are there. How we are going to write all these possibilities? Shortcut we already discussed in our previous class, in, in our beginning of the classes. True, 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 false, 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 false. First line you have to write like this. Second line, true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. Third line, TF, 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 TF. This is how if you write, you will get all the possibilities for three variables. Now, the same equation you have to apply in order to write the mean terms. If it is true means P, T means Q, T means R, conjunction, P conjunction, Q conjunction, R, T, T, F, P conjunction, Q conjunction, negation, R. Like that, you have to write all the eight mean terms. These are all, we call it as mean terms. If you are having four variables, you are going to get 16 min terms. Similarly, max terms means the same equation, the same logic we are going to use P, Q, T means P, T means Q, but in between you have to place disjunction, P disjunction Q, P disjunction negation Q, negation P disjunction Q, negation P disjunction negation Q. These we call it as max terms for, for two variables, similarly for three variables. Hope you understand what min terms and max terms means. Next, you need to understand what is principal disjunctive normal form or we call it as canonical sum of products. See, for a given formula, you take any proposition, an equivalent formula consisting of, you need to convert that into an equivalent formula, but that consists of disjunction of min terms only. Then we call it as principal disjunctive normal form or canonical sum of products. Disjunction of min terms. Let's take two variables. Disjunction means sum. Sum of min terms. These are the min terms for two variables. Your equation should be in the form of disjunction of min terms. Then we say it as canonical sum of products. Similarly, principal conjunctive normal form are canonical product of sums. We need a, for a given formula, an equivalent formula consisting of a conjunction of max terms. We call it as a 
canonical product of sums or principal conjunct to normal form. So let's the sample example. Conjunction of max terms. These are the max terms for the two variables. Conjunction of max terms. If you write the e given equation in this form, then we say it as canonical sum of products or principal conjunct to normal form. So these are the definitions in our next classes we are going to do the conversion given proposition how to convert this into canonical sum of principal disjunct to normal form principal conjunct to normal form. Hope you understand these definitions if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you.